I met my husband, Rod, in Phoenix, Arizona, on a Hertz shuttle bus of all places. He was the most positive person I've ever known, no matter what the challenge. The, the one thing I miss most about my dad is his calm demeanor. Always gave you confidence that whatever decision you made was the right decision for you. My father has been the, the source of strength for our whole family. He always works extremely hard and um, uh, does it all really for the sake of his family. In February of 2017, he headed out to go cover uh, spring training. And I got a call from his best friend. I need to talk to you. And are you sitting down? I collapsed through his autopsy. It was discovered that it was um, aortic aneurysm that had spontaneously ruptured. It was like any other day. Um, you know, got my kids up, my two girls in. I was in the office for maybe five minutes when my brother called to let me know he passed away of a massive heart attack. He was only 71 years old, and it'll be 10 years this coming January. We've missed having him around for um, not only the, the birth of his youngest grandson, but also many great grandchildren, weddings, graduations. Um, it's just hard not having him, having him there. I noticed that uh, I had about 17 missed calls from my mother. When I finally got a hold of her, she told me that uh, my father had experienced a stroke. My father is a family physician, and so he is very familiar with the symptoms of the stroke, uh, the need to get to a hospital quickly. Any later, I'm not sure he would have been able to walk into the hospital. If I had more time um, with my dad, I think the big thing would just be um, spending more quiet time with him, fishing, having a conversation or not having a conversation and just waiting for some fish to bite. More time every day. I wish we had more time. Mostly, I look at my daughter, who was the love of his life. What he could prepare her for, because a, a teenage daughter growing up without a dad is, is hard. Rod was a philanthropist in this community. He loved this city. Um, he loved this town. With more time, what could he have done? He had great dreams. We were able to really get a lot more time uh, with my father. Just the small things, it matters to have to have him with us. Just getting to see him walk up to the bassinet. After I had my third son, it was, it was really heartwarming and I remember getting so emotional about it. The research into TPA and how that can make the difference for a stroke patient, something that my father personally benefited from. To know that the AHA was one of the most important supporters of that research. The torch to me symbolizes just the perseverance and the constant attack on heart disease. I couldn't think of a better organization to be a part of. Rod and I attended the Heart Ball several times. Many of the, the people that are attending the Heart Ball will know Rod. It's time to talk about his story. If it inspires others, um, I'll tell it a thousand times over. If I could have given my daughter more time with her father through research, I, I would do it tomorrow. I would empty my wallet for that. Someone else's daughter is going to grow up with their father. You know, we've got three sons. Um, we have a family history of heart disease, and we need to make sure that that research continues so that they have a brighter and healthier future. Every day I wish I had more time with Rod, my husband, my, my best friend, my partner. I wish that I would have more time with my dad. I'm thankful for more time with my dad. More time. More time. More time. More time. More time.